Hier, yesterday, aujourd'hui, today, demain, tomorrow, ok? Hier, yesterday, aujourd'hui, today, demain, tomorrow. So let's see now. Hier, so yesterday, hier matin, matin is morning, ok? So yesterday morning, will go in French like hier matin. Hier matin. Ok? Après-midi means afternoon. Hier après-midi. Yesterday afternoon. Hier après-midi. Hier après-midi. Alright? And then soir, evening. Hier soir. Hier soir. Ok? So let's repeat that. Hier, hier matin, hier après-midi, hier soir. Ok? So now, aujourd'hui, today, aujourd'hui. Ce matin, so we put here this ce, this matin, morning, this morning, ce matin. Cet après-midi, this afternoon, cet après-midi, cet après-midi, ce soir, ce so soir, evening, this evening, ce soir, ce soir, all right, and then, demain, so tomorrow, Demain matin, tomorrow morning, demain matin, demain après-midi, tomorrow afternoon, demain après-midi, demain soir, demain soir, tomorrow evening, demain soir. So one more time, hier, hier matin, hier après-midi. Hier soir, aujourd'hui, ce matin, cet après-midi, ce soir, demain, demain matin, demain après-midi, demain soir. De 50 à 75 till 75. De 50 à 75. So let's see how they go. 50. 50. 51. 51. 52. 52. 53 53 54 54 55 55 56 56 57 57 58 58 59 59 60 60 61 
61 62 62 63 63 64 64 65 65 66 66 67 67 68 68 69 69 And that's normally when my students, when I'm in, in class with them, start to look at me like they, they would like to kill me because now we're getting to the tricky point in French, okay? So have a look here. Now we've got this 70, of course. Uh, but then in French, it's a bit more tricky because you take back the 60, 60, and then you will add the 10, 10. Okay, so... For this 70 session here, you will have to use this 60 and then this. And so all the numbers from 10 to 19, you will have to put them right here after. Okay, so let's see how it goes. 70. 70. 71. 71. Okay, so you can see here now. 60, 60, and then 11, 11. 60 et 11. 72. 72. Same thing here. 60 and then 12. Okay. 73. 73. 74. 74 75 75 okay so we go we won't go uh further uh not to be more traumatized because i've got some nice surprises after that as well okay so remember that uh well till 70 uh well it's quite it's quite not easy because it's always difficult to remember the numbers but still it's uh, not that tricky okay so remember that for 70 here uh so from 70 to 79 you will have to use this 60 so 60 and then the numbers from 10 to 19 okay 10 11 12 13 14 15 etc so we'll see the, the rest uh, in a, a coming lesson So now what we'll do, we'll go to, to till 100 and then we'll see uh, all the, the what tricky and irregular forms, okay? So if you remember uh, when we stopped, it was here, okay? So 75 in French, we'll have to use this 60, so 60, okay? And then after that, you will have to put this 15, 15, okay? So remember from 70 to 79 it will work the same way so you will have to put this 60 and the numbers from 10 to 19 after uh sorry yeah 19 yes okay so in that case it's 75 75 okay 60 and then 15 okay next one 76 okay so 60 and 16 okay 76 all right. 77. 77. 78. 78. 
79. 79. And then 80. Okay, so for 80, it's 80. 80. All right. 81. 81. 82. 82. 83. 83. 84. 84. 85. 85. 86. 86. 87. 87. 88. 88. 89. 89. And now for 90, well, basically it would be the same thing as we had for 70. So you will take this 80, 80, and then you will add the numbers from 10 to 19 after. So 90, and then 91. So 91. So remember, 80, 80, and then 11, 11. 91, 92, 92, 93, 93, 94, 94, 95, 95, 96, 96, 97, 97, 98, 98, 99, 99, and the last one, 100. Remember, final T not pronounced. 100. Okay? Discover this parce que form. So parce que means because, okay, and it's really really useful. So we'll see how to use it. Okay, so parce que here. So the first use uh, of uh, parce que is when you want to introduce the reason. Okay, so we've got two examples here. Il ne mange pas tout de suite. Okay, so. Here you've got the negative form, remember, ne, and then pas. Manger means to eat. Il ne mange pas, so he doesn't eat. Tout de suite, well, basically it means right now. Parce qu'il, okay, préfère attendre. So in that case, because he prefers to wait. Il préfère attendre. Okay? Préférer to prefer. And then here, you can see that attendre is to wait. Second verb, okay? And then you should put it like here at the infinitive form. So the basic form of, of the verb, okay? Il ne mange pas tout de suite 
parce qu'il préfère attendre. Ok Second example. Nous allons dehors. Allez to go dehors, outside. Nous allons dehors. So we go outside. Parce que, so because, nous voulons marcher. Vouloir, to want, marcher, to walk. Nous voulons marcher, we want to walk. Okay? Nous allons dehors parce que nous voulons marcher. Okay? And then, the second option to use this parce que is when you want to introduce the cause. La cause, ok. Example here. Il prend son parapluie. Parapluie, umbrella. Prendre is to take. Il prend son, his. So he's taking his umbrella. Il prend son parapluie parce qu'il pleut. Pleuvoir to rain. It rains. Il pleut. Il prend son parapluie parce qu'il pleut. Ok. And then. Second example, il appelle le garagiste parce que sa voiture ne démarre pas. Ok, a place to call, garagiste is this nice person that will fix your car if it's broken or if it doesn't start, like in this example. Ok, parce que sa voiture, voiture is car, sa voiture, possessive, his car, and then ne pas. So you get the negative form here and démarrer to start. Il appelle le garagiste parce que sa voiture ne démarre pas. So because his car doesn't start. Okay? Il appelle le garagiste parce que sa voiture ne démarre pas. All right? So you can see the two main way uh, of uh, using this uh, parce que. So the first one, the reason. In that case, uh, well, it's something that refers to the person okay actually in that case it doesn't he doesn't eat because he prefers uh, to wait and then uh, we go outside because we want okay and then the second uh, possibility when you uh, talking about la cause in that case uh, something that doesn't really uh, it's not the the, the, the results of uh, what someone is doing but it's it's raining in that case and then the, the car doesn't uh, start It doesn't really, it's not the result of uh, the action of someone, okay? So that's the two main use of parce que. La négation, and more precisely, the famous ne, ni, ni. Okay, so it looks a bit strange maybe, but don't worry, it will be quite clear after this video. So normally when we talk about la négation, so the negative form in French, we have two parts, so ne and then pas, okay? But of course, when we talk about ne pas, we are talking about une négation, okay? And actually it's possible to have de négation as well and in that case of course uh, the structure will change and we won't use only ne pas we will use ne so the first part then we will use ni and then ni as well so let's see how it will work and we will see so examples avec des verbes, so with verbs, avec des adjectifs, with adjectives, and avec des noms, with nouns or substantives. Okay, so the first one, avec des verbes. So let's see how it will go. So if we've got a sentence like, il chante, chante is to sing, so he's singing. And in that case, if you want to put the negative form, in that case, it's quite simple, because as usual, we will put the first part, ne, So before the verb, and then you will put the second part, pas, after the verb. So you will get, il ne chante pas. Okay, so it's quite simple. But then, if you have a sentence like, il chante et il danse. Okay, so he's singing and he's dancing. In that case, well, whether you will use, il ne chante pas et il ne danse pas. So it's actually quite 
interesting because in that case, and that's normally what people tend to use, okay, uh, you will basically repeat this negative form with E and, okay, so il ne chante pas et il ne danse pas. Okay, so we've got this other option, and in the case of verbs, actually, it's quite interesting because uh, if you use this other option that we saw, ne, ni, okay, in that case, it will be quite rare to hear that because in most of the cases, that's what we call long soutenu, so it's really, really formal, official, it's not really uh, everyday language. Okay, but then it would go like, il ne chante ni ne danse. Okay, and keep in mind that you don't use the pas at all. Okay, il ne chante ni ne danse. But in most of the cases, well, people will use this option right here. Il ne chante pas et il ne danse pas. And in that case, we're talking about verbs. Okay, because you will see that for Les adjectifs, it, it will be a bit different because, let's see now. Il est grand, okay, grand is tall. Il est grand, okay, negatif, uh, form negatif, pardon. Il n'est pas grand, okay, so it's quite simple in that case. We just keep the negative form as usual. But then if we've got il est grand et fort, fort is strong, okay, then in that case, if you want to put the negative form, you will get il Ne. Okay, so you will use first this first part of the negative form. Ne. Okay, but then as you get this vowel here, you will drop the e. Il ne. Then you will put your ni before the adjective, the first one, and the second ni before the second adjective. Okay, so you will get il ne ni grand ni fort. Keep in mind that pa is not here at all. Okay, so it's a common mistake to somehow try to put pa in the sentence. Uh, pa is not here. Okay, il n'est ni grand ni fort. So let's see now how it will go avec des noms. Okay, so the first example, of course, with one word or noun. J'aime le fromage. And then for the negative form, it will go like, je n'aime pas le fromage. Okay, so not a problem at all. But then let's see how it will go. J'aime le fromage et le vin rouge. Okay, so fromage is cheese and then vin rouge is red wine. So it's only for adults, remember that. J'aime le fromage et le vin rouge, and in that case, if you want to put the negative form, then it will go like je n'aime, so the first part of the negative form, ni, so you put it before your word here, le fromage, ni, before the second one, le vin rouge, okay? Je n'aime ni le fromage, ni le vin rouge. Same thing, there is no pas at all, so pas doesn't exist here, okay? So, je n'aime ni le fromage, ni le vin rouge. 